Welcome to Mythology Cast. We have another video with Logan, our special guest. Um, we are going to be doing Viking runes today. Um, Viking runes actually are said to have come from Odin, but it's historically there's no evidence towards who actually created them. Um, runes were kind of they're very interesting because they're not something we have in like today's like language or society because they were both kind of letters and symbols. Um, this is this is the only modern example I kind of think of. I'm sure you guys are all aware of Christmas. Christmas is sometimes referred to as Xmas because X was a sign of Christ in addition to being a letter. So it's supposed to stand for Christmas. That's the only real modern example. These are not really commonly used anymore. For example, like a letter of rune might mean the letter A in Viking, but then it could also mean uh, God as like the rune, the rune's meaning, but it's letter that it's affiliated with is the letter A. For example, um, I'm gonna read one directly. We have a list here of all the ancient Viking runes, which you can easily find on Wikipedia or just some basic Googling. Um, so this, this rune is, it's just a straight line and it, it represents the letter I, the word ice, and the way you would say that rune is I sa I sas. It, it's a, the, all these words will be very difficult to pronounce. Um, let's get right into the craft. And so we're gonna just take these metallic markers that we have here, and then we have a box of stones that we also have. And so we have a mix of brownish crimson ones and then also black. So based on like the rune that you think is like the coolest or whatever you want to draw, you can just take an old Futark letter basically and just draw it on your stone. So I'm going to draw the letter that represents M. I am going to draw the letter that represents, um, oh, well, uh, that, the one that represents you. So, um, one thing to note is there are more types of runes. These are specifically the Elder Futhark. There are a lot of other runes, such as Anglo-Saxon runes or different runes from Scandinavia. And Scandinavia is a region which includes Norway and Finland and Sweden and Denmark and like Iceland. And it's generally towards the like northeastern part of like Europe. Uh, the Elder Futhark, however, is the, uh, not to say original, but like they're the, the oldest runes that we have found the, historically. They're the oldest and they're the ones that are associated with the Vikings that we know, like the Norse with like Odin and Thor and those gods. So they're the most popular of the runes today for like people to use. And sometimes in the common, it's common for people in the um, modern day to use runes to quote unquote, tell their fortunes for fun. Yeah. There, um, another important thing to note is this comes from an old language. So for example, this rune, which is the Ihoaz is represents the letter I with two dots on the top like this, um, which is a letter in the Scandinavian language that we do not have in English. And it could represent also the old Eng English letter, which is an A and an E put together. And But it also could represent yew tree, which is a type of tree. Another rune is this, which is an X. It's the Gebel, and it represents the letter G, and it could be used to represent gift. So if I were trying to communicate to Edmund that I'm giving him a gift, or we're bringing gifts to a party, I could give him the Gebo, and he would know, because that's what it represents. And then also, to keep in mind, a lot of these uh, ancient um, letters are actually very close to modern day letters, like just based on the look of this one already right here, you can assume that it's probably uh, associated with M or this one right here is associated with H. But then there's also some cases where that doesn't 
really work. Whereas like the X, as we would think of it, but it actually means G. Um, and then this one as well, which looks like a P, but is actually a, a W. So, but if you do want to find the list of the elder Futhark, we're going to have them on mythologycrafts.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching this Mythology Crafts video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button, um, hit the subscribe button, check out our website at mythologycrafts.com. We're happy to give you the gift of this video as the rune shows. And um, also check out our other videos as well if you like to do that. Um, so yeah, bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's like perfect with Odin's one eye. You just put a rune in there instead of an eye. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. It's going.